No. Escape Goat Simulator Trucks 2. Yes, that sounds correct. Let's play that. That sounds like an interesting game, actually. So basically, you run around as a goat trying to escape from a dungeon with a truck. And it's the second iteration of that. Hmm, that sounds interesting. I'd, <laughs> I'd be very interested to see that. So this is April 17th, so this is basically the newer one. And what I am doing, I'm... I, I'm, appro blah, blah. I'm apparently researching precision lasers and... Uh, how goes it in my barracks? Oh nice, I have all of my veterans active. And not a single wounded person, though the uh, the Swedish dude died. Uh, yeah, there are going, to, there are probably going to be some minor spoilers while I'm playing this game because this game is it's somewhat random, but it's not all that random. I can avoid doing the uh, main mission if you. If you want me to be completely spoiler, well, spoiler free to some extent. But basically, that's just some cinematics and stuff. And uh, how about my hangar? So I basically have just my two ravens in North America and then all these ravens in Europe, because Europe must be protected at all times. Okay, so I won't do the main mission. I will just do the side stuff. So basically I will focus on the abductions. Okay. I'll be nice for you and I'll just avoid doing the main mission. Oh man, I this is this is the main stuff. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I didn't remember that I hadn't done this. Looks like they've changed their so tactics. But this why? I'm why I'm this? I'm sorry. It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. Well, I guess I guess we have to go save some Russian people, or is it Americans? I guess it's Russian people. Last time it was Russian people. It was. Novgorod, or what was that city? So the Finn saves the Russians. Or doesn't, because I am quite incompetent at this game. But yeah. <laughs> Salamander, do you want to know who dies in HL3? Because I'm friends with Gaben. I know everything. I have I have HL3 already. I have played it through three times. I I had it when it was in alpha. Actually, Gaben is my father. He's also <laughs> he's also Finnish. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's 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 actually Shanghai this time, and it's a very difficult mission. Well, let's send the Sky Ranger there and. Uh, Okay, so I have a bunch of my veterans here, so I have my Lieutenant Wang here, then I have my Vega dude, and then I have one of- oh, this is also a veteran, so you're an assault as well. Do I need two assaults? I guess I could take two assaults. I mean, it's a good idea to have two of them. Because we are going to end up going into buildings, anyway. And assaults do that really well. Though this guy is a newbie, so he doesn't have any of those good perks. Okay, I will probably load you with... It. Medikits would be a good thing, but I rarely get to use them. Usually my dudes just, just die on the spot. I guess you can take frag grenades, but 
Uh, at least you have Carapace armor, so it's not really all that big of a deal. Then I have two snipers. Do I want two snipers? Yeah, it's annoying when your veterans die. The ba basically, uh, you are forced to use Carapace armor and, uh, you know, salvage plasma weapons until you get some new veterans. <coughs> This Russian dude, he's really good. I want to keep him, at least. Okay, let's let's just go with it. I, I'm not really sure about having two snipers, but uh, hey, it's better than nothing. I guess I could have sent a newbie, but I don't want to do that either. Otherwise, I'm just going to get them killed. Well, I guess I need the red shirt at some point. We're heading into China for the next operation. Yes, yes. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. So approach civilians to evacu evacuate them and minimize the civilian casualties and neutralize all hostile targets. Good stuff. <clears throat> So let's let's go take care of some aliens. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Yes, indeed. And there is one out there. So what I I guess what I should do is I should approach the building as fast as possible, get all the civilians outside. Also as fast as possible. Basically do everything as fast as possible. There are some guys here. I sort of want to take that dude because I want to take cover here. So maybe I should take this. Uh, I sh I'll take this guy here. And I'll probably use... I sort of don't want to use that before knowing where the aliens are. But I sort of have to. Because I, I don't want to end up being there without any means to defend myself. So let's just... Run there, get that civilian out of there, and... Okay, so there are some... There are indeed some aliens out there, so that's that was a good decision. Though I can't fire, but I can al always overwatch. <clears throat> then we have the sniper dude here. He's probably... This is Gupta, so... Gupta can go here, and that way we can protect our people. Overwatch. Glocky, isn't it? The, it's basically the same principle, right? You basically, your, uh, your dudes get scared, and then you have to take them to hospital anyway to heal, or they will die or something. Or I I don't know. Maybe they don't die, but maybe they go insane. I, I played a bit of it. And now I'm waiting for the Steam version to work because uh, it doesn't at the moment. So you can go here. You'll protect our dudes as well. Though that's not a good idea, so let's move him here instead. And this is the second. Okay, so that that is already blown up. I don't want to move him here because he's in, out in the open. Oh, the Steam version has worked already. I didn't know that. Last time I checked it didn't work. Maybe I should test it again. Hmm. Uh, do I want to move that guy here? Yes, I do. Maybe I should have used the run and gun. Oh well. What's done is done. And there is nothing for you to do here, so move you move yourself self there and that way we are protected from these aliens. Hit him. Nope. Okay, so where are you? Okay, so you're you're 
on the roof now. No, 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 don't do that. That's bad. You're not allowed to do that. No, don't kill the civilians. You... Ah, uh, you're annoying. I will have to kill you. Because you are so annoying. Do I want to go here? I sort of... I, I think I should secure this building first. And then check the other buildings. Maybe well then I then again I should probably get that guy. Otherwise we have more casualties than we sh should have. But if there is an alien out there then we are basically doomed. Moving there is not a good idea. Moving here is not a good idea. Let's move there. We can't run and gun so we are basically relying on our luck. I love books. Books are awesome. Okay, so this is Simran Gupta, and this guy can actually indeed fire after moving. And you can fire here anyway. Hopefully, this guy can. Otherwise, I'm sort of dooming my people. Move there, and hopefully, you can shoot. So, fire at the Damn alien. And you better hit. Man, you are doomed. Unless some of my other guys can take care of this guy. 30%. I... Maybe I should sh just, you know, suppress him. Well, let's not do that. I want to... I should have done that the other way around. Hollow targeting would have increased my possibility to hit that guy. But at least I can probably hit this guy because the 54 is good chance so... And this is the sniper dude that cannot move at all. So I have to just set him to overwatch. It's annoying when I have to do this but... What other other options do I have? Okay, so some more dudes coming in. Okay, that guy is dead. That's the civilian gone. So at least he targeted the civilian, so so we didn't lo lose any of our guys. And how about you? Can I can you hit this guy? 51 I I think I will take that chance. Excellent. Um the snipers can see through the car because the car has windows but uh, I think the wall here is in an annoying place so I think he doesn't have line of sight yet. But, yeah, 48, I should probably, I should move before doing that, right? I should move here and then take the shot from here, so now I'm in a better position. And if I fail this, I can still stay in cover. Excellent, so that's one of the floaters down. Now I should move in and rescue all of these civilians here somewhere okay I will probably dash here this place looks pretty empty and the enemies are moving in from here so let's dash in uh, yes indeed it's very advanced okay we've lost four that's a civilian right there and you can run and gun so you do that I want those civilians Alive. This oh man! Any hope we had of oh, damn! The alien species. This specimen is nothing like the others. Oh! Like one of everything. I am doomed. I am officially doomed. This guy will just tear my dude apart. 
Yeah, I can hit him. That won't kill him. Because that dude has like what? I I I don't even know. It has like what is that? So that's like eight health. So I need to take like three shots like that. Oh damn! I'm, uh, that guy is just doomed. Can I? Can I? I need to move this dude here just so that I can take a shot when s when that guy comes here. But Ulrich here is basically dead. So hunker down. Let's save what we can save. Yes, indeed, indeed. So that's insta kill. And all of these civilians here are in danger. There are some people out here. I should reload my gun. Oh right, I should change the title. I forgot. Again. So I'm playing Enemy Unknown. Okay, so... Where are these dudes? There are some people upstairs. And there are people in these ruins here. So if I if I'm fast enough, I can take 3 people with me. No, I won't kill them. I will just you know, you know what I mean. Okay, you you move here. Take care of that civilian and protect all of these dudes here. No, going on top of the building is not going to be very wise, I think. Okay, fine. You're okay for now. Okay, do that. And then you will overwatch this street. And you... I think you should also overwatch this street. I mean, those, those really big aliens are gonna roll out soon. And I don't want to be surprised when they do that. And you probably run and gun, move here, and protect these guys. Okay, tactics go. Quickly, quickly. Wow, that, that civilian is a hardcore civilian. Seriously, that dude just... Actually, it was a she. She tore to... Tor 2. Tor through 2. Wow. This is difficult. She tore through 2 doors. Yes. So that's basically my point. This is going to be so painful to watch later on. Can I shoot that guy? Yes, I can. And I have 58% chance to hit. Hopefully I will take... Yes! Excellent. So once that guy moves closer, then... Then he will get. As it the oh, seems to have him damn it! A zombie. Okay, so that dude is d now down. If this is a hit, hopefully it is. <gasps> no, no, don't miss like that. Don't. You're my. You're the dude. You're the Russian dude. You should. You should be the awesome guy. No, no. Okay, so that guy is poisoned. At least she's not dead yet. Yet. I mean, it's not going to take too long. Okay, so that's a hit. Wow! That guy landed quite nicely. Okay, so you... There is one civilian out here. So ga go take care of... You're good to go her or him or whatever and then you should probably head back ASAP we there are no more civilians that we can really save we are just going to get ourselves killed if we don't do tactical fallback right now we have to basically pull back our troops and 
see if we can set up a fortified position so we so that we can take care of those zombies. So I guess move. Oh, that's not a good place to move. That's not a good place to move. I guess if we move here, then we might be able to... Actually, that's a better place to move. And we can take some shots here. Okay, so let's shoot at that guy. So, hollow targeting and ammo out. So you need to reload as well. Okay, that dude needs to die. Please hit it. Excellent. And how about that dude? Oh man, she's down. No, no, no. This is this is becoming a zombie invasion. Well, at least these guys are shambling so sl slowly that we can probably take care of them before they take care of us. At that range, you can. Oh man, there are so many of these guys. This is left for dead all over again. And that guy is out of bullets. Okay, so th that, that means that we need to fall back immediately down there. Okay, so you still have bullets, right? Um, move here, protect your friend. Take some shots. Walking Dead episode into making, yes, indeed. Okay, and you, you run. That's not far enough. Maybe this is far enough, I don't know. Maybe that's far enough. Move there and reload your gun immediately. We're green to go. And you. You should probably hit that guy. And if you don't, well, <sighs> you're doomed. Can I take a headshot? So that's a 100% critical hit, so that's more certain way of taking care of him. Let's take this. Please hit. Nice. So that Zombler is not going to be a threat to my sniper. Man, how many civilians are there still? I mean, we have lost a lot of them. There is one on the roof and a bunch of them are in zombie mode. Don't, don't, don't you dare. At least you can't attack, you have to move twice. That means you can't attack, right? Okay, and now you can take some... Can you actually hit that guy? 99% chance if I miss this one. Let's say I'm mad. Because I'm probably mad if I miss this one. Did I have to jinx it? Seriously? Oh man, 100% chance of hitting. Let's do it. And you, do you have anyone in your sight? No. That probably means that you should overwatch, because I want this place to be taken care of. Well, that dude is not... Oh, right. He's going to transform, isn't he? Oh, man. Yes, excellent. So now we have another one of those to take care of. And zombies are jumping from the roof and stuff. Okay, this this place is where we are going to do our last stand. Oh no. Poisoned, poison. Poison, poison, poisoned. Okay. You you need to reload your gun and you need to also fall back. So fall back into the house and then you can take care of this guy alone. You need your you need the help of this dude here. Or do that. But uh the the direction is the same. So run. And you, you on the other hand, run here. Man, this operation is turning into a disaster. Oh, excellent. This is just what I wanted. More of these alien beasts. Oh, and that Zombler th there is probably going to turn as well. 
Well, he seems a bit distracted about all of this, so... And that guy's going in. No, 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 that, that's not good. At least I have the carapace armor. Okay. Poison, poison, poison. And you, you need to take care of this guy as fast as you can. And that's not enough. Can this guy shoot at him? I seriously hope that you hit. Good. And you, you need to shoot that guy. ASAP. Critical hit. So that guy is down in two turns. Unless... No, he's, he's turning. No. No. How many civilians do we still have? They should all be dead by now. Right? Yay! More zombies. And now that guy is going to eliminate one of my dudes. No, 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 no. Don't touch him. No! Vega! Damn it! What's your... S you can't take care of that guy alone. I think what I need to do is I need to run and gun. So, how, f how far can I run? Only that far, and then that zombie guy can take care of me. Well, I guess I can always fall back. Oh, there's a civilian he here! Maybe I can dash... No, that's not going to work. That... That alien is too close. So I have to run somewhere around here. Maybe take some shots from here. I, I'm not going to go up there. That's going to be a death trap. So... So... Dash here. And then fire. Don't miss. Your life depends... Yeah, it's kind of late to do whole the, the that whole adjusting aim thing. You're you're just doomed. The whole whole damn squad is doomed. Yeah, excellent. Zombies. That that's exactly what I need. Basically, my whole squad has turned into zombies and Okay, you can't attack me right now. Can can't you? Yep. Okay, I'm safe for one turn. And after that, I'm basically doomed once again. Because I can't... I can't run. I have to shoot at that guy. Now. I guess I could have moved a bit, but... What difference is that going to make? So there are three civilians still out there. Okay, what you should do is you should overwatch. And maybe set up some battle scanners. But I don't want to spend a turn for that. Okay, so... so uh, zombie. Hit him. Good. You did some damage. Good. Excellent. Okay, this this mission is basically doomed. What I should do is I should move to my evac position. That's basically what I should do. Well, oh well, let's overwatch. I'm sorry, China, but you are sort of doomed. At least Shanghai is. Okay, so that same zombie decided to come out and play. More damage. We might be able to take that guy out. <clears throat> yep. 
he is still in our line of sight. Don't you turn on me. More zombies, I think. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is going to turn bad real fast. So you should... I, you should kill this guy before he turns and then focus on this guy. Or run. That's the other option. Okay, one of them is now down. And now that guy is going to move. He probably doesn't have the range. No, no. Now he has the range. Goodbye, squad. I re I'm really going to miss you guys. My veterans are basically dead. There is no way out of this. Not a s single option. I can shoot at that guy. And that guy is probably going to... Yep, I'm pretty much doomed. But but at least I'm going out fighting. I'm not going to just die for nothing. So... Maybe I should use the pistol. I'm just going to use the pistol. Goodbye, alien. Yes, I should play KSP instead. So we saved nobody, we lost... We lost four... XCOM operatives, and then... Wait, didn't we lose more? We lost the whole squad, that should be terrible. And we killed 14 aliens. Man. Okay, I think we should play some KSP. And then the Air Ranger will just get back. And China has withdrawn their support from the console because, well. And panic is going on and things are happening and. Man. Okay. Somehow that mission never goes too well for me. I've tried it twice. Nope. If only there was something we could have done. Some aspect of our research that we perhaps overlooked. Yes, of course the whole problem is in science. Okay, so whole whole team is KIA. And Asia is basically lost. Well, that went well. I think I might save that to the other sale and try it again with more care. But yeah, let's quit the game and let's play some KSP instead. Goodbye aliens and welcome rocket science. And I'm going to change the game now so that you don't have to remind me. So now it's updated. So we are basically already 16 minutes over time, but nope, I don't have autosave enabled. I am allowed to cheat. It's my own game. I bought it. And I can do whatever I want with it. And I can enable autosave if I want to. This is going to be a funny VOD to watch. You have everything. You have me failing in platformers, you have me failing in tactical games, you have me failing in basically everything. And now you can also see me fail at KSP. But yeah, basically b playing that game with autosave enabled is just going to be it's it's a roguelike that you cannot win 
I think we will probably continue with my sandbox because I have done lots of cool th cool things here. So what should we do? Should we possibly? I'm actually going to. Nope, no, 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 no. That's too fast. That's okay. I want it to be day. Yeah, failing failing at KSP is f more fun and. If you don't fail at KSP, then you are doing something wrong. That's that's the whole point. So you have to fail at this game. Okay, so... Should we build planes? Should we build rockets? Should we go into outer space and discover the secrets of EVE? Or... Maybe fly to the moon? Or moon? I don't really know. It's It's weird. Oh, by the way, I, I'm i going to show you a creation of mine. We basically designed this in a in a personal live stream of mine. It's basically Harrier, sort of. Well, it's a VTOL plane that we decided to name Harrier 1, but um, then I failed it and I named it Harrier 1. Yeah, it, it, this thing works. I have action groups and stuff. It, it's it's really it's super advanced. I'm going to show it to you. So this is basically the best creation I have ever made at this game. So let's enable the VTOL engines and let's power them up. So this game, this plane is a bit unstable at times. Let's in it. Nope, no, 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 no. Let's enable the main engine. Uh, it's it's really okay now it's getting a bit more stable let's disable the VTOL engines now and let's full throttle and landing gear up oh Yar or how should I pronounce your name? It's 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 a funny thing. You don't really think about pronunciation before you actually have to do it. IRC chat is just more. I'm going to call you Yarre from now on. So, but seriously, you haven't seen KSP before. This seriously, this is the best game out there. And I'm probably going to play this a lot more than I'm going to play TF2, ever. You you need to... Uh, I'm trying to speak Finnish again. Oi kesti. I don't... I don't even... You should... you should totally... buy this game... and play it for 24 hours straight and have fun and now I'm going to land so basically what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to fly a bit closer and descend a bit not that fast I think I'm going to going a bit too fast Well, yeah, that and you do science. Uh, this is the sandbox mode, so here you can basically just build things. And you have uh, all the parts uh, accessible for you. But you also have career mode, so you basically have to do successful space missions. And then you get science, and with science you can unlock more parts. So that makes it a, more, a bit more fun. So now I'm going to try the most difficult thing with this and that's landing. So first of all we should kill our vertical... well not... Uh, the horizontal? No, what? I uh, I am not Scott Manley, I don't know these terms. Oh no, that's, that's way too much throttle. So a bit... excellent, 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 egg... Uh. Well I lost the engine, but otherwise that went pretty well. So now I'm just going to break, 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 break. So yeah, basically I just lost the... I lost the main jet engine, but that's basically it. 
So this is one of my creations. I am really proud of this plane. It it flies so well, and it it's 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 just a fantastic piece of uh, jet engines and stuff. Maybe I should try a bit smaller jet. That might be it. But yeah, th this plane is basically my favorite out of all planes I have ever done. If we check one of my earlier planes, for example, the super super jet I made. This is a really, really simple thing. And it has a... Oh right, I made it! This can actually land on water, because I have all these insects here, and those float. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, and I have done other stuff too. Also a lot of SSTOs and strike planes. I even tried to make one plane that would work with ion engines. So this one <laughs> looks very weird and it doesn't fly. Sadly. It would have to be a lot lighter. Actually, how did I even think that this thing would ever fly? You can see it that this thing is just never going to fly. At all. It's That's not going to happen. At all. Well, oh well. I'm, I guess I'm just stupid sometimes. Let's make some rockets. That's why we are here. Rocket science is the way to go. Have I done any previous nice rockets? Some xenon or xenon probes. Some... Oh, I, and I think this is a space station of some sort. Yep, this is a space station. Yep. It's not a pretty one. But it's a space station. And it has a this docking node here. Hmm. And but these things are not... Ha this, these things are basically just very boring to fly. And Doom Nick. What else? I think I had a nice. Was it this one? What is this? No, that's that's some of my earlier designs. Escape unit test. I have so many different planes out here. Two stage lander. These are stock things. Uh, I've flown. I've uh, I've gotten to moon, and that's basically it. And I once almost landed on on Duna. That's Mars. Uh, let me show you, Yara. Oh, th that's not what I sh was supposed to do. Oh well. It's gone. At least I didn't save it. I'll s I'll show you the map. So this is my tracking station, and this is our planet. This is the planet of Kerbin, and this here is the moon. This thing here is Minmus. These are the two moons of Kerbin. Kerbin is part of the this system here, and. This system has all of these planets, so you have you have Moho here, and then you have Eve. This is Kerbin. This here is Duna. I've gotten here, and uh, then we have Dress here, and Jewel. And this is the planet planet that is most of the time furthest away from the s uh, sun, and that's Elu. Yep, it's not our solar system. And the guys don't really look like our guys. It's probably fictional because they didn't want it, want you to think that everything is absolutely realistic. You, I, I mean the yeah, basically it it works like that. And Elu is basically what Pluto is or was. You never know because I mean they are they're. Um, arguing all the time what they should uh, think.
think of uh, Pluto. So yeah. Yeah, two moons and stuff like that, and they don't have realistic amounts of moons on those uh, bigger place places. Yep, this is a and this is a NASA supported um, game, and because of that, we have these big parts and the uh, these asteroids that we can re redirect if we want to. But basically, these Kerberdyne parts, these are. NASA parts, all of these, and you have things like huge s solid fuel boosters and oh, Jebediah is here! Welcome, welcome. Yeah, that's basically what I think. Still, I I don't really like the way they are. Basically, they're dissing Pluto. Pluto should still be recorded as a planet. Oh, right, uh, this thing doesn't actually have a... Hmm. Oh well, I think this... Oh man! So this is my... my funny little creation. It's a moped. Powered by the power of Xenon. And solar power. Yeah, basically. So, this is a funny little creation of mine. It's not really a rocket, but uh, it was fun to make anyway. Oh, man. And it's very difficult to control, but it goes really fast. It goes like... Um, I have no idea how fast it goes. I, I'm not too good at mathematics. I, I can't... Well, I'm sort of good at mathematics, but I am not good at, you know, making calculations in my head. Oh, Liam is here! Hello, hello! Oh, now there is going to be a Pluto is or is not a planet in the chat. Try to be civilized. Man, this is this this thing here is a beast. Look at this. Oh man! Oh no 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 no! Okay, we lost something. Houston, we might have a problem. Our moped is missing some parts. I'm not sure how vital those parts are, but they might be vital to some extent. But at least the <laughs> moped is going. Faster than previously. <laughs> Excellent. This is how this is how astronauts do it, or Kerbo nodes, or whatever. Let's let's try that again. Liam, you are so wrong. Th this game is all about mopeds and stuff. But yeah, that's that's enough of that thing. Let's go to the vehicle assembly building and let's build something. Uh, let's just start with nothing. What should we make? A rocket that goes somewhere. Hmm. I'm thinking about building a space station, but that's going to uh, that's going to take a lot of trying, because I, I, I always mess up the calculations for mass and thrust and fuel, so uh, basically it's not even calculations really, it's just I want to see GOL land on moon. Okay fine, let's land on the moon. Let's see if I can actually pull this off. Oh, Sin is here! Welcome, welcome! So, moon. We will go to moon. The stream won't end. 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 Yes, the stream won't end until we are on the moon. The <laughs> the Kerbals will learn to fear us. Do I have to come back? I mean, if we don't have to go go back 
from that moon, then I can probably just... And then I can probably just leave that out, I guess. We're just going to land on the moon, right? We don't have to come back. I have landed on the moon. Twice. Or thrice, actually. I have landed two... Th uh, Two out of three times I land and I won't get back, but I will get a Kerbal on the moon. And once I've gotten back. So yes, I have done it successfully. Once. Okay, so what we need next is stack decouplers and loads of fuel and something to light it with. So now we need the lander stage. <laughs> yeah, this is this is turning into an argument about scientific stuff, so this is going to be very interesting. And soon you can laugh when I fail, because I will fail. I won't fail you, I will fail you. Wait, wait. I will fail, but I won't fail you by not failing. This is difficult. Okay, so now we need some fuel. Actually, a lot of it. Sort of. Because we need to land on the moon, and we need some fuel to do that. I think one of these fuel canisters can be enough. It might be. I'm not completely sure. And one of these engines is probably going to be powerful enough to lift this off. And... Yes. Oh, right, we need some batteries on this thing. Otherwise we are going to be... in a world of hurt. And we should probably take care of the... Uh, the electrical stuff, because... well... We are going on the moon. And we have all the parts necessary. <laughs> this is interesting. Can a bunch of Linux users get on the get to the moon? Yes, we might be able to do that, but we might endure some kernel panics on the way there. Possibly. It's hopefully not because if we do that, then my computer might be broken. Then I need some good landing struts, some really sturdy ones. These look fantastic. They are pretty. They are pretty heavy, but. I think they're okay. We can always test these. And I want them to be completely symmetrical to this thing here. Oh, that's a fire here. Well, hello, hello. Welcome to the experiments where we try to get to the moon. I'm not sure if we can get it get back, but we might be able to get to the moon. Actually, I think I'm going to just use these uh, lighter ones. I mean, less weight, more distance. It's all in the science. Though I'm kind of... I'm sure that this thing will probably flip. Okay, so this is our... Moonar Express, number Mark 1. That's how you write it, right? Okay. And save, and let's try this one. This is not going to get to the moon, but we will just quickly test if we can indeed um, fly this thing upwards. Because we can test this thing in the gravity of uh, Kerbin. Uh, Zilox, this stream will go as long as it takes us to get to the moon. Excellent, so I can indeed lift off. And can I land? That's the second thing. Okay, I can land. Excellent. So that's experiment number one done. So all you science people can mark that off the list, because we have successfully made our lander. Now we just have to, you know, bring that thing up to the moon. And this is where things get difficult. Okay. So first of all, we need to separate this thing from the rest of the 
rest of the the yes uh, the rockets. Otherwise, we are going to be in a lot of trouble because I don't want to bring all of this stuff to you know moon. I want to just bring this piece here to moon. Okay, so the argument continues. Is Pluto or is Pluto not a planet? Find out in the next episode of GOL Streams Random Things in the Internet. Yes. And next... Uh, should I just overkill it? I mean, I could just put this here and I can basically get to any place I want. Though it's going to take a bit... Hmm. I can, of course, make it a lot easier for me if I do this. Ah, who wants to make things easier? I mean, seriously. Yes, Disharmonic, and we will be playing until we get to moon. We just decided that we won't stop until we are on the moon. Or one of us is dead. We hope that none of us will be dead by the time we are on the moon. So, now we need to make a huge uh, booster for us to get on orbit, or onto orbit, and then that will... That will hopefully take care of that part of the trip. Is three stages enough? If I add enough solid fuel boosters, it might just be. So now we need this huge, huge, huge tanks, and one of the... no. How about no? We need a skipper engine. <laughs> Liam, yes, yes, <laughs> let's, let's, let's do that, that sounds like a good idea. Good idea indeed. Okay, so I'm just going to use a bunch of these um, hydraulic detachment manifolds. And then we need these solid fuel boosters. A lot of them. Like three is probably enough. Do I want to play it safe? <laughs> so I could of course use these. These are bigger than my whole rocket, but they will probably bring me to orbit alone. Yeah, that's that's totally an overkill. Let's not do that. Let's let's just use these basic B B A C C solid fuel boosters. These are okay for our purposes. <clears throat> well, yeah, uh, you know, f fuel and mass and stuff, more thrust. <laughs> faith out. Let's overkill more faith. Yes, indeed. Let's <laughs> faith. We need more <laughs> aerodynamics. That's that's what we need, and also some delta wings. Our standard canards. This might be okay. Are these okay? I, I no no those are not okay. I need winglets. Winglets winglets. God damn it. Hmm. Liam, you're funny. You probably already drank some of that beer of yours. Disharmonic, it's it's easier once you get used to it. It's it's a bit overwhelming at first, but once you basically fail like uh, let's say 50 times, then you start to get hang of it, the hang of it, and then you might actually make it to orbit. Complicated talk about pong. Yeah, pong is very difficult. 
Now where are those struts? Now let's use duct tape. And this should keep our ship together during the ascent. Hi Bradley! It looks a bit <laughs> derpy, but uh, then again that's how we like our ships to be. We are not trying to be Scott Manley's here, we are just trying to get on the moon. Okay, I think we might be good to go for the first test. All oh, right, we have to also set up the staging. Right. Okay. So, where where is this part? Okay, that's that part is there, and that's the thruster that goes along with it, and that part is here. So these. Wait. Yes. Wait. Um. Right, okay, so that should be there, this should be here, and now I can detach these once they are out of fuel. And now I should just... And let's combine this so that we don't have too many stages. Checking, 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 pre-flight checks. Houston, everything is A-OK, -okay. green lights across the board, let's launch before it's too late. Okay. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. The funny parts are still... ...ahead of us. And now... ...full thrust. Oh, there are 33 people watching! My god, this is amazing! Oh, Liam, it will happen! Oh, we forgot the countdown, damn it! <laughs> GOL, we forgot the countdown! Okay, now pray that this... Yes! Excellent! Excellent! Win! Victory! We are on our way to moon. Oh, uh, it's it's still not 10,000 meters, so we should not turn yet. The rocket is sort of twitching a lot. Okay, we are at 10,000 meters. So I'm starting my orbital insertion. Insert. Yes, that's how you say it. Insert. Insert. Gen C. Yes. In insert. Insert. Insert your orbit here. Yes. Uh, yeah. Usually I don't fail at this point. I usually fail once I get to orbit. Uh, Bradley, do you make Linux content? That is basically the deciding factor here. If you don't, then no. And if you do make Linux content, then we might consider it. And yes, Expander, I turned this early. This is basically what Scott Manley taught me. Not personally, but I watched a lot of his videos. Basically what he... Uh, teaches that once you hit 10,000 uh, meters, then you should start your... What? Well, this maneuver has a name, but I can't remember what that name is. Sad. I'm a pathetic rocket in engineer. Okay, so that's that stage done, and now we need to do our orbital insertion in in yes that that thing. 
And now let's see how far we've gotten. Okay, so that's good. Now let's start messing with the maneuver nodes. Seriously? Oh, right, I... I'm... Okay, so... This is the point where the needle skips and the chorus plays like the sync that trips. Yes. Um, okay. So now we have to point ourselves to the correct place. Yes, gravity turn, exactly. Thank you. Now, this is the place where we have to start worrying about our fuel consumption like a lot. Because if we don't make this... Make this uh, burn here, then we are pretty much doomed. So... One minute... 20 seconds... 10 seconds... 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Activating thrusters! And this is going to take a long time. Now let's hope that my... I managed to do the insertion before I start falling back to the atmosphere. Long time as in 1 minute and 20 seconds. Because I don't dare do time acceleration while I am thrusting, because that's a bad practice. And it's probably going to get you killed immediately. <coughs> oh, you should have seen some of those Scott Manley's videos. I mean, he th somehow sometimes he burns for like thirty minutes f or even forty minutes, and you can't you can't to do time acceleration while you do that. So you have to do that real time, man. It's good that I am not a rocket in, uh, rocket scientist like Scott Manley, so I don't have to do this stuff. Okay, so we have a periapsis here, and now what we have to do is finish our burn. Yes, there are probably more efficient ways to do this. I'm just going to... Okay, so that's fine. I'm not going to burn any more fuel doing this. So, it's not falling, so we are on a stable orbit. So this is the part where you basically upload my efforts. And where people scream happily because we have done something right. Okay, so now we have to check where the moon is. And the moon is actually here. And now we do this thing. So we basically use the maneuver nodes to find a place where we can reach moon and make contact. Yes, that's an encounter. And it's an encounter behind the moon. So this is basically the first encounter. Then we have uh, this is basically the orbit around the, or after the encounter if we don't slow ourselves. So this is basically what we should do now. Orbit the gum. What? Did I say that? Now I'm confused. Okay, so now we have to wait for 17 minutes but luckily we can do that. We can do that with time acceleration, so we don't have to wait. So... Now... Oh, you said that to Liam. I, I was thinking that I'm going, going crazy, but it was you. Phew. Okay. 30 seconds... 20 seconds... I'm going to say that that's 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, activating thrusters. And now let's hope for the best. Because if we can't get this encounter, then we are going to be in a, in a lot of trouble. Okay, so this burn will take 1 minute and 40 seconds. And that leaves us with who knows how much fuel. We are burning it at 1.17 units per second, and we are burning oxidizer at 1.44. <clears throat> sing to us then, Samsai, to pass the time. But I can't sing. <coughs> Sadly. I'm, 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 seriously, I'm a really bad singer. Uh, Jebediah, if you have any advice, then sure, you can, you can send it my way. Because I'm not fully certain that this will be enough. I guess it will be. But we might not have enough fuel to do the orbital insertion on moon. Oh, this is so exciting! <coughs> if we can do this on the first try, then I'm going to be... I am not quite sure what you mean, but okay. No, that's not that's not okay yet. We need to burn a little more. Burn, burn, burn. No, I think I lost it. I lost it. Okay, now this is the point. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. Play paranoid. Okay, so. That's basically it. That's as close as I can get it. So now I should just get rid of this node here. Man, we are we are actually making it to moon. At least we have an encounter, so that's a good thing. Now we need to slow ourselves down when we get there. So the moon will be approaching. Let's see if I can actually show you a bit of that. So where is moon? There is moon. So this here is the sun. And it's vital to our life. And this here is the moon. It's not so vital to our life. And we will get... Hopefully we will get a bit closer to moon. Eventually. Okay, so that's basically our current... trajectory. So many difficult words. Oh, Liam. Oh, that's not good. So, this is the orbital insertion thing. Trajectory, yes, indeed. It's so much easier when I do these things in Finnish. Oh well, I gotta make do with what I have. So, now begins the difficult phase of slowing ourselves down, and uh, how much fuel do I have? I have no idea. Let's check. So, this is our main tank, and we have... Oh man, we have so much fuel! Yes, I know it's not easier for you in Finnish. <laughs> okay, so we have we have 87 units of fuel, so we have enough fuel to actually do this burn. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now all I, all I need to do is wait for one hour. And of course we can just increase uh, the speed of time. Yeah, I know, it's some somewhere around that. Okay, so two minutes 
1 minute 30 1 minute 150 30 20 10 7 6 5 4 3 2 and activate Jare Ja det gör jag. Um, Finland är en tvåspråkigt land, så jag måste lära mig svenska i skolan. <laughs> yes, I'm going to fail at that a lot, and my pronunciation is the Finnish Swedish. And I'm not a Finnish Swedish person so my pronunciation is uh, going to be a bit off anyway so now let's slow ourselves down and I'm I'm going to cause a lot of problems in the chat probably because I'm being weird oh that's a high yeah tequila okay we're on we're on uh, the Moonar orbit. So basically I'm currently, because I don't have a web webcam, I just have to describe it to you. But basically at the moment I have my hands up in celebration of our um, our mission's well-goingness. Yes. So now, now all only thing we really have to do is why are these vibrating around? What is going on? Oh well, now all only thing we have to do is land. So basically what I should probably do is I should go to the Apo and then I should descend there but I'm not sure what side the sun will be on when I do that. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a bit of time just spinning around and this is probably okay. So now I'm going to start my descent. Should I do autosaves? I think I should. What are the autosave buttons? I can't remember them. Do you want me to do autosaves or do you want this stream to take forever? <laughs> those are basically the options. So, I think those are F7 and 8, 4 and 12, 5 and 8, I have no idea. <laughs> I can't remember, okay, we're, we're just going to go YOLO mode now. So, let's start the descent. Oh, right, the quick save, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so if I'm doing this right, we should land on the day side of moon. Saving is cheating, yes, indeed. Okay, fine. Uh, this, okay. Big boss, big boss mode, yes. Okay, I think I might land into that crater there. Nowhere's no. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. Okay, so, let, so let's see when the perikey is below the surface. So that should be now. Okay, we are on collision course with Moon. And where is Moon? Oh, there is Moon. Excellent. And I have... How much fuel do I have? I have a lot of fuel still. So I have 33 units that I can use when doing the descent. So maybe I should spend that as well. Also the moon will be rotating so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with this. 
So basically this is the mode when I start speaking really slow and really quiet because I'm basically really afraid that I will bust this. So why is this orbit? This should be surface. And now I want to get on top of this site before I do all of that funny th funny stuff. Make, yeah, I should make some room for the rotation of moon. Okay, I think I'm okay. If I start to slow down here, I will land on the day side of moon anyway. So this is the this is the uh, place where we actually start the slowing down. So I'm basically going to burn all of the remaining fuel in this tank here. I will probably do it a bit faster, otherwise we are not going to even touch the lander stage. So, <clears throat> welcome to Moon! And that's a that's a really bad place to land in. You can do it. Yes. Cameras are good. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm I'm sort of starting to sweat a bit. GOL, do we have any towels? Because I think I might need one right about now. Liam, the worst worst part is still there. Okay. Going full throttle now. Let's ditch that stage. Okay. Where are we going to land? This is interesting. Okay, so I think we should start to really slow down at this point and also deploy the landing struts. Okay, so this place here looks like it would be a good place to land at. Really? Push! Push it! Thrust harder! We need to go up. Up, 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 up. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, we... GOL, we have everything under control. Everything is fine and dandy. Okay, we are moving to vertical landing. Increasing throttle. We have... Do we have visual of the shadow? Less thrust, less thrust, less thrust, less thrust, less thrust, not that... M we are doing it, we are doing it! Okay. And we have landed! The eagle has landed! The G-O-L bird thing has landed! We are on the moon! <laughs> wow! Now, d let's do EDA! EDA, EDA! Let go! It's your finest hour! And let's... Let's put the G-O-L flag down! So... Now... This has been one fine moment for us. And I'm not going to qu quote Churchill because I can't remember how that quote went. But let's plant the flag. Wow. I was really scared. But yeah, we did it at the f we we did it on the first ever try. So, the GOL landing site number 1. What should we say here? I don't want to do anything anything cheesy like uh, it's a it's a small step for a it's it's a small step for a man but a huge leap for Linus kind or anything. Wow. So now we should just set the plague text to something. Something that will 
define this moment. Yes. But let's say the GOL was here, bitches. Dot. And it has been done. We are on the moon. And now we can jump. Whew. Now that was one heck of a mission. And now all that remains is that we should get back. So let's activate our rocket pack and let's get back onto the ship. And grab and board. And now let's see where we are pointed at. So this is not a good place to thrust away. So we need to actually do some time warping here so that we move away from the moon when we do the whole actually this is this is not good I mean I forgot that moon like our real moon is always pointed at the same direction towards Kerbin So, now we have to see where the heck we want to point our ship next time, because otherwise we are going to we are going to lose a lot of fuel just because we are dum-dums. So, where are we? So we are at the edge of the crater, so where the crater continues there we should point our ship to. And where does the... Oh, right. So it's basically, if I understand this correctly, it's this way. Sort of. And that would be exactly that way. So this is the way we want to go. Yeah, I know. Get to orbit, orbit and escape. But I'm, I'm trying to basically use as little fuel as possible. So, what way is this? This is the correct way, so let's go this way. I think I'm going to go for a direct escape from the... from moon. Then again, I might be able to do that. No, I don't want to do that. that that's actually pretty scary. But I'm I'm going in the completely di wrong direction. I think we need to go this way, like a lot, to correct our course. Okay. Yeah, I probably have enough thrust to do this, but I want to play it safe. Okay, now I'm just going to... This is probably enough so I can start to raise the apo ups this way. So this is basically the final moment when we can screw up things really bad. Okay, so when do we get our escape? We're running low on... Well, well, not sort of. Not too much. We don't really have to worry at the moment. Okay. Okay, that's the... That's our escape. Yeah, I know it's less efficient, but it's... It sort of does its job. Now, all, we, all that remains for us to do is... We are on the... Orbit that we want. And then let's raise the periaps down to... Hey, I'm 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 not the professional around here. Okay, that's good. Okay. So now where do I point my ship? Okay, that's good. That's a okay for me. So now 
we wait for a day and an hour and then we will see if we have enough well we have we have plenty of fuel we don't have to care about things too much now we just have to get the node in the correct place and burn at the correct time I almost I almost blew that okay Periaps is going down and once that thing is below around 50 then we are okay yep that's that's enough wow we're actually going to make it back this is an unexpe unexpected turn of events so now for the final portion of our journey so basically I'm going to turn off SAS because I'm going to enter the atmosphere and I want to be in facing the correct way when I do that so now we are encountering the atmosphere and I want to flip my ship around because I'm going to do the final separation nope I am not using the joystick and now let's let the atmosphere do its job so we will use the friction of the air to slow ourselves down this is what the other uh, the, this is what the NASA does and all the stuff so yeah I'm not going to land that lander part it's it's not going to happen with that amount of fuel okay so uh, and time warping at this point might be fatal so let's not do that <coughs> expander uh, if I if you think I make it easy ju just watch Scott Manley so guys know uh, well Scott Manley sort of taught me this but I have I have also sort of figured out some things on my own but uh, the basics were taught by Scott Manley and now we wait for well I don't care it's it's rocket stuff something something does something and yes Jebediah you're the you're the sci scientist man you you do the scientist stuff I I fly my spaceships the way I want to the Linux space program <laughs> yes indeed now wait <clears throat> um, GOL we have another problem though this is just a minor thing we sort of hmm. okay so we we went in with too much speed and now we are basically rising up again though this is a minor thing we have to just do the whole thing again but that should sort it out oh well let's just time warp I guess I should have lowered the yep I I sh should have lowered the parry game a lot more Uh, slope gas basically I just went through it I didn't bounce I just went through it and it didn't slow me enough so yeah now we have to go for another pass I wonder where that lander part went I guess it had 
Uh, it was not as aerodynamic as we were, so basically I think it crashed. Maybe we should have been with that lander part for a lot longer. Yeah, but I, exactly. Wait, was that the part that we had? The lander part? Uh, oh, it's there. So that's the debris that we left, and it's... yeah. Yeah, I should have used it to slow myself even more. And now Jebediah is probably going to be a bit sick, because the... if we check the IVA... He's spinning around, but I think I can stabilize that. Let's use some of this electricity to stabilize this. Uh, that doesn't look any better. Oh, right, I have to press C. Um, what is happening? We are not in the... We are not in the atmosphere. You shouldn't be bouncing around. Oh well. I guess the the inline reaction wheel is having some problems. Okay, Jebedai, you are just going to have to... Oh, right, we cannot always do time warp. Right. That defies physics a lot, but well... Okay, so this is the second pass. This one should be it. So now the... I'll quote... The low pressure drag and the molten plasma will slow me down enough to actually land. And the parachute is probably going to be... Uh, SAS is off. And uh, yeah, the parachute is probably going to help a bit also. So... We are at 55 kilometers. Still a bit to go, but this at this point this is basically just a risk-free landing. You can't really screw this thing up. Unless you time accelerate while you are flying down with your parachute. And the parachute is not fully deployed. Because that will screw you up. At least it did in the last version when I tried it. No, Sobgas, this is this will probably it be it. Uh, I mean, we have we still have a lot of um, velocity, but um, I think we can kill this off with the I'll quote. <laughs> okay, fine. The drag and the molten plasma thing. Hopefully, we won't burn the. Well, we won't, because I don't have the mods for it, but if this were a real situation, I would probably wish that we wouldn't totally burn the the temperature shielding thing on the capsule. In this case, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, we are entering... Yeah, I think this is the last pass. We are going so low. So basically our periapsis is at... Yeah, it's it's below 30,000. <clears> okay, so we are... Yeah, deadly re-entry might be a bit too much for me. I basically... I was... I played it safe and I... Kinda played it safe too much. But hopefully... We will see some re-entry effects now. Okay, so we are seeing some re-entry effects. And we are seeing... Sadly, I don't have the... HUD, so I can't really say how many Gs we are having. But... I think this is like one. One G of... Uh... 
the act well something we're slowing down at 1g yes okay so we can see some flames nah not too many once this thing here hits that area then we are having too many G's we are here we are on the green so I think we are okay and this will indeed be the landing and it seems like we will be landing in the sea and the funny thing is that landing in the sea is basically it's the more dangerous way to land landing on the land is actually in many cases a lot safer the acceleration is yes. and in this case we are at 2.5 <clears throat> oh we are so I didn't even plan this but this is the KSC the, the Kerbal Space Center and I didn't even think that we would be so close I totally didn't plan this but let's say I did <laughs> and uh, the parachute is holding. Now it has to deploy properly and then... Okay, plasma. Fine. This is the last time I will be playing <laughs> any scientific games on this stream because I'm apparently bad at science. But hey, the mission went pretty well. <clears throat> now we just have to wait for the parachute to deploy and then we can time accelerate our way into the ocean. And then we can just pick this guy up and then the mission is over. And we are at... Wait. We are what at 1 hour and 24 minutes over time. Okay. And we are landing at 6 point one meters per second I think excellent so we're back at the KSC right about now yeah I have landed on this small island you can time accelerate once you once the uh, parachute has been properly deployed before that it's risky I I am I am a professional. I know what I'm doing sometimes. But yeah, so this has been the GOL space program and I think we can call this one a success because we we got to the moon, we got back and I wasn't really sure that we would get back. But we got back anyway and yeah. But yeah, because we are 1 hour and 20 uh, 26 minutes over time I think I will kill the stream right about here otherwise my voice is just it's just going to die so I think I will just quit to the main menu and say a couple of things so this has been the GOL birthday live stream so happy birthday GOL may there be many more years to come and naturally we will see in the next stream or video probably a video though I'm not sure when probably next week possibly but I won't promise anything but yeah it has been awesome 
to be able to stream for you guys. The whole stream will be available as a VOD on YouTube once I actually get to uploading it and tagging it. But yeah, it will be there eventually, so if you missed anything then you can always check it on the YouTube channel. But yeah, <laughs> and may there be more games on Linux also. But yeah, thanks for watching and we will see next time.